Hey there, welcome back to the White Farm. Got a lot of work to do today. As you can see, I have a big old bridle. Uh, spreader wagon hooked behind the tractor and we're going to get some lime put out today. It's time to go ahead and start prepping the fields. Getting them ready to, uh, to you know, accept the crops, the seeds for next year. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> oh, man, that car just ran up on that stop sign. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get some lime out. And uh, if you didn't know, there is a bulk fuel location on the map. I didn't realize that until an episode or two ago. And so it is just over here under the the road. Come around here and uh, let's see, which way does this open? I'll tell you what, let's back up here. We'll swing around here to the left. That way we can come underneath the auger pipe and open up the cover. There is a dairy cell point, looks like, down here. Another field, actually. And then right here beside this little barn, we have a bulk fuel location. So I am going to get some lime. And I don't know how much it'll take. I'm just going to fill this thing up. I think I have enough money. To rent this was uh, 2000 something dollars to lease it. I uh, didn't want to buy one just yet. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get it all done in one load. And uh, it appears that this fuel station is a relatively economical, buying it in bulk. So I uh, was buying the seed pallets from the shop, but they were significantly cheaper down here at this location. And also the, the uh, solid fertilizer was as well. I didn't check the prices on the line, but I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that it is at a reduced price price as well so uh, definitely keep that in mind if you need some seeds and fertilizer and lime on this map on your playthrough that is the place to get it in bulk so I'm going to go ahead and get this tractor down here we'll get set up on one of the fields and start putting some lime out see and see how we're making it I don't know exactly uh, how how we'll do as far as using it, but we'll see. I don't, I don't think we'll be very bad off because the fields are not very big. But I want to get the lime in before we start doing any of the tillage work. You know, I debated on buying this tractor, but it has actually come in pretty handy. Oh, side swiped the car. Uh, my other tractors would have struggled with this. I'd have had to go with a much smaller s spreader and so this this has worked out I'm glad I picked it up I think what I'll do is go ahead and start on the grass field I will start start there and see how it gets how far we get and then we'll move over into the other field go ahead and turn on my uh, little window there so we can see what's going on as we apply it yeah so it is bringing it up quite a bit it's going from a, a light green color to a aqua blue I guess One of the tricks I have found, and I may have mentioned this before on one of my other playthroughs, but when used in precision farming, it does tend to use quite a bit more lime than just playing uh, with the base game setup. And it gets to be rather difficult sometimes to put lime out on fields. Uh, a lot of refills, a lot of back and forth to, uh, to get lime. So. One of the tricks that I have found is to go ahead and put lime out after every crop or every other crop. And what that'll do is reduce the amount of lime that you need per application. Now it does take a little time, 
but a lot of times if you do it every crop you can go a whole field or multiple fields on one tank because it's only putting out a very little bit to bring it up to the correct level so uh, just something to think about if you are using precision farming and especially on the bigger fields uh, it's not so big of an issue on uh, a field like this however you would normally tend to be using smaller equipment so again you would have to fill up quite frequently so something to keep in mind if you are using precision farming it's my little tip of the day for you yeah we've uh, done pretty much most of this field and we're just above 80 percent so we're doing really well on the line may have to get a little bit more before it's all said and done with but we might not we might make it I can quit overlapping so much that would help I do need to get better at using the uh, GPS in game I just never use it I, I like freehanding my uh, farming I know it's not as efficient probably not the best way to do it but often I'll uh, either I'm using a worker using course play or I just drive it myself I don't I don't use the, the GPS very much, but I need to. I need to use it more. I think part of the problem is I tend to use a controller a lot, and so it's, it does just kind of, it doesn't come second nature, and, and I don't have keybinds and stuff on my controller to do that. So. Yeah, I, I need I need to try and use it more. It definitely make my my application of fertilizers and limes much more efficient. All right, so that went really well, really quick. Didn't take long at all. And so now what we'll do is run over to the other field and get going on it. And what we're going to do is run back down to the shop, and I'm going to buy a subsoiler. I believe is what I had picked out. We're going to get that because we do need to plow the grass field. And so we're going to use the uh, subsoiler on the grass field. Uh, this field does not need to be plowed. Uh, so depending on what type of cedar and or planter I go with, I may not even have to cultivate it. I might use a no-till application for the next round. We will see. I haven't picked anything out just yet. I have an idea about something. But I haven't picked it out uh, for sure. So I may do a, a no-till, but we'll see. Alright, so I want to do one pass down and then uh, do a strip down on that end. Uh, just because I think a helper will have some problems. And then I will turn a helper loose to finish up the field and I will go get that subsoiler.
So that little uh, cultivator I bought, I uh, found on Mod Hub. It's very cheap. It was well, actually a soap soiler. Uh, and look, it matches the case. Look, it looks really good. I like that cream color. Uh, if it was just a had a little bit more golden color to it, it'd be perfect. And then if the uh, triangle up front was the uh, the orange there, it would match up perfectly. But that's pretty close. Just using the uh, stock colors so I like that I thought it went really well with the case so we're gonna boogie back down to the uh, the farm and try and uh, get get some uh, subsoiling done or cultivating basically is what it boils down to we'll see how this works I have not tested this behind the case so I am not sure how it's going to work. I believe it said we needed 80 horsepower, and I think it's that's what we have. Let's check that real quick because I may have messed up. <laughs> oh, not paying attention when I bought it. Let's see, we have 80 horsepower, and what do we buy here? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Uh, 80. So it is 80 and 80. We'll see how that works out. I tell you, I am, I am just absolutely thrilled with this particular case. Uh, again, it is something from my childhood that I, I grew up around, and uh, it's really cool. Really cool. I like it. I am still debating on buying another field. Uh, I do have plans to do that. Uh, I just don't know which one I want to get or how much money I actually want to spend out uh, that's that's another problem if we look at uh, let's look at the contracts real quick I haven't checked those I can't do those I could pick up a corn header plowing cultivating we don't have either of those two so yeah, we, no contracts but there's this little field right across the the road here that I could potentially pick up it's, it's a skinny field, but it is it's there. It's right real close to the farm. I don't know. I just have not made up my mind yet. I'd love to be able to pay cash for one, and I'll have to take a loan out, and maybe I will. By the time I get done selling some of this stuff, I might have enough. But I'm doubting it. Alright, the moment of truth is coming coming soon. We'll see if this case has what it takes to pull this little ripper through the ground. Let's see. Shoot, look at that. No problem. It's running along at 7 miles an hour. 9 miles an hour, sorry. It sped up. I think that's probably top speed for this thing. We can double check real quick. Yeah, nine miles an hour, so we're doing good. Except for the point of me missing. <laughs> now, I do have stones turned on on this playthrough, and I know normally I don't play with stones in game, but I thought about doing it this time just to try something a little different. Uh, so we will have to pick those out. Uh, they are there are some big stones that's being turned over. So yeah, we're gonna have to do something with that. Um, the only thing is there's not really any old style stone pickers. The only thing we have is the newer models, I believe. I haven't really seen anything 
uh, vintage. I don't know that there is any vintage uh, type stone pickers. I, that's probably a new a new machine that has come out, uh, you know, in the modern age. And probably nothing out there that that was around years ago. So I may I may look into getting uh, one of those bucket scoopers. Or I may just go with the uh, modern ones. Maybe just lease it out just to get the stones up. I don't know. I haven't decided yet which way I'm going to go with that. So I will have to do it uh, because as you can see, let's go back here. I mean, look at the stones that's rolling up. Good grief. I mean, the things are... They're pretty big. Pretty big. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do something with those for sure. Come on, Ace, you can do it. You can do it. Struggling just a little bit, but all in all, it's actually doing a pretty good job. All right, so that is very good. So I, what I want to do is I want to actually uh, hire a helper to just run down this way for now. Let's get it lined up, hire the helper, and let's go find the tractor with the uh, cart behind it, spreader buggy. And it looks like it has finished the field. So I do need to come over here on this edge, I believe it probably missed this yeah it looks like it I don't know if I can make that in one pass I doubt it nope not quite but as you can see we still have about 25% left in the uh, spreader so we've done really well uh, so that worked out uh, actually worked out really good uh, the only thing is if I was to buy another field I probably should go ahead and do that while I have this thing leased because I'm sure we'll have to put out some more fertile uh, line and the other thing is I'll probably have to take some soil samples so oh that is a dilemma because I need to rent that sampling machine again hmm what to do there i'm not sure but either way we're done putting out lime at least for now and i'm not going to return this lease yet or unload it i'm actually just going to park it right over here we'll just hang out hang on to it through this game day and then if i decide to get something else another field we'll have it ready and can go ahead and put some lime out so let me take over for this guy real quick Let's stop there. I'm going to go ahead and make another little pass around the field. That way, we can create a little buffer so we're not running into the fence again. Yeah, it's pulling. This is actually a really nice combination. It's not very big, but it just fits the farm. I mean, it, to me, it just is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I did sell another load of silage. I actually used the uh, forge wagon or the uh, yeah the forge wagon that I bought loaded it with silage and took it off so that worked out really well uh, the the greenhouse well let's see how it's doing all right let's I'm gonna go hire another worker there just while we're looking at the menu so the greenhouse is turned off I still haven't gotten any, any more herbicide so I need to pick some of that up Need more seeds, more fertilizer. I can't keep this thing fed. It just goes so fast. But you see, I do have uh, jam and mixed salad going. So we're still producing. And that's a good thing. So 
We're still moving forward. We are getting the fields cultivated. Got some lime put out. Getting things done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please be sure and uh, click that thumbs up button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you do that today as well. I do appreciate all of y'all's support. And I'll see you back here next time.